Hello and welcome to Fallout 4. We found the Freedom Trail. 7A. 7A. Code of some kind. This You have to follow this red brick line, or the red line. Sometimes it's not going to be brick. So anyway, we're here at Park Street Station. Where Nick is being held. Junk. So we will the <laughs> junk. So we will go rescue Nick. And up here where these radiation barrels are. There's a magazine up here. I already picked it up. Um I did some recordings with the radio on, Diamond City Radio. And I got copyright claims. Which aren't a real big deal. I can leave the videos as are, as is. Or edit the music out. I just had them edit the music out. But I think it got rid of all my sound. YouTube did it. Um, so, I got some videos with some sound missing. And I'm not going to play the radio anymore. So I had four recordings before this one that I just deleted and haven't uploaded. So, anyway, I mean, you didn't miss a lot. Just some little bit of roaming around and maybe a quest or two, but we will continue on with finding Nick. And no radios. Which is uh, too bad, because I really like the music in this game. The music on Diamond City Radio. Not the background music that you hear now. But, oh, that's okay, too. You know. You know what I mean. Anyway. Let's find Nick. Let's see here. Weapons. Have any fragmentation grenades? I got Molotovs. Let's get rid of the Molotovs. Wait, the hell? These guys are a pain in my ass. They are. Don't come. Oh, she did trigger man. Miss this guy. Thank you. 
nice. There we go. Shadows now. Well, I better heal myself. And I have a level up. Perception would be good. More endurance. Um, Shoot! in there. the way.
I also loot everything, right? Got it. Captain. Get that rifle. Good. Got it. On it. On it. Hey, get that pistol. What you got for me? Go check that out. No. On it. Hey. Just let me know. Grab that gun over there. So long as it's consistent. I don't know, where are the rest of them? Another? Another way. Uh, really? Take that weapon. All right. Grab that. Will do. Get that. Sure thing. All right, I got them all now. Well, that took forever. Oh, there's one. On it. Got it. these terminals. Can't purchase a ticket. Terminal shut down. Stations closing. Blah blah blah. Well, the corp can't purchase it so they can build their vault. Alright.
Hey! Where to? Grab that. Message came through loud and clear. Good. are here. So, wonder what kind of evil shenanigans Vault Tech got up to in here. find out. Oh, where are these guys? There's one. Where'd the rest of them go. We could use all the help we can get. Got it. On it. On it. Got it. I leveled up. Where are my gloves? I swore I wore gloves. Jumpy. Who? Sweet. Show us what Vault Tech was up to? Probably. Okay, you can read that. I'm not gonna read it out loud. 
Okay, this is what they're up to, so... Experiments by Vault Deck. Oh, what gun do I want to use? I'll try this one. I got a question. Why the hell would anyone build a vault out of a subway station? This place is like the opposite of airtight. Because they weren't planning to use it, you moron. We used to pull this kind of con all the time back before the war. Get a bunch of union boys to work some construction job that would go nowhere. Keep everyone on payroll. Again, hey, what, what can I do? Get that fine by me. Hold okay, the big gun, I'll bring it here. here. Then, nothing but nothing over here. Must be losing my mind. stuff while I have a chance. Excuse me. What's up? What's up? Heads up. You say the word. Pick that up. You're right. Take that. Got it. Grab that. I see. Get that. Pick that up. Of course. Take that. Can do. Grab that. Get that. Uh-huh. Pick that up. Take that. No problem. Grab that. I mean, I, I can. Well, would you please? Get that. Me? Pick that up. Will do. Take that. Fair enough. Grab that. Me? Yes, you. Get that. Fair enough. Pick that up. Yep. Take that. That's a plan. Grab that. 
on, Piper, today. Get that. Ah. Wait there. Got it. Pick that up. Going anywhere. Get that pistol. Sure. Take that. Grab that. Got it. Get that pistol. No problem. Get that. Of course. Alright. We got it all. Certainly seen better days, hasn't it? Uh, probably. Who's there? Oh, I gotta loosen up. These guys are so tough. What do you think? Metal underpants? Got it. They're not that tough. Of you. Oh, don't worry, buddy. I'll be right with you. Come on out. I promise I'll only break one of your legs. Got it. On it. Come out, and I'll do you quick. I need to ask you something. Hey, partner. Need something? That's What's up? Right. Run. What's on your mind? Got something for you. I whipped up a couple of new things from the mutated fern flowers you gave me. Hangover helper. What's on your mind? Take this. I think you'll like it. That was it. Roger that. What was that? Right. Quit jerking me around. I'm out to fight. Dirty rats. Making me jumpy. Well, I don't the want to miss anything. Ah, the combat zone. <laughs> On it. Got it.
Heads up. This should be a piece of cake. Get that rifle. Fair enough. How you doing in there, Valentine? Feeling hungry? Want a snack? Keep talking, meathead. It'll give Skinny Malone more time to think about how he's gonna bump you off. Don't give me that crap, Valentine. You know nothing, you got nothing. Really? I saw him writing your name down in that black book of his. Lousy cheating card shark, I think were his exact words. <laughs> then he struck the name across three times. Three strikes? In the black book? You're but I never... Oh, no. I, I... I gotta smooth this over. Hey! Something's out there. Nothing to smooth over now. generations lived in here before they opened up the vault and left. Bet they were sorry when they got outside. Vault's well, nice and safe. It is, isn't it?
nice. Well, let's take that. Hey, you! Yes? I don't know who you are, but we got three minutes before they realize muscles for brains ain't coming back. Get this door open! Okay, Nick. <laughs> well, that'll never they happen. gotta hack that terminal to open up this Valentine. door. Nice friends you got here. Come on, Piper. Nick. You gonna talk? Why'd you risk everything to find me? Just a private eye. I'm tracking a murderer. The bastard who shot my husband. Took my baby. I don't even have a clue who he is or where he's gone. So you need a little angel of vengeance, huh? Well, I don't usually go after blood money, but I guess I can make an exception. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. And she's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. Okay. Look alive. Come on, it, Captain. Malone's crew here. There we go. She used to be Bump small time. Muscled out of the old neighborhood by bigger players. So they found this. Place. This is Vault Tech interview number zero three for the position of overseer for Vault One Fourteen. Interview subject, Benjamin Beasley. Mr. Beasley, as overseer of Vault 114, how would you settle a disagreement between two of your vault residents? Well, I would obviously take it through the proper channels, assuming neither of their requests were against the law, of course. This is, of course, assuming that the conflict had already gone through all the other members of the vault's residence council, that I plan on organizing. Vault Residence Council, you say? Yes, of course. People need government. They yearn for it. I think it's a civic duty of every red-blooded American patriot to serve the... Yes, I think we have everything we need here. Thank you for your time. Oh, already? Well, I look forward to oh. hearing from you soon. Yes, I'm sure you will. Please make sure to fill out your non-disclosure agreement on your way out. This is Vault Tech interview number 21 for the position of overseer for Vault 114. Interview subject, Kimberly Weiss. Hello, Mrs. Weiss. How do you do? And may I just say what an honor it is to even be considered for the position of overseer. Ever since I was a little girl in mock government, I dreamed that one day I would have the opportunity to lead a community to greatness. My teachers all told me I had leadership potential, and without my guidance as student council vice president, those bake sales surely would have failed. <laughs> Just the thought of being able to organize and run this small group, to show them a better way, to lead them to a future so bright that they... My goodness. Looks like we're out of time. What? We just started! Yeah, they don't want what they yes, have. Yes, yes. Thank you. If you could just send the next candidate in as you leave. Oh, uh, of course. Uh, did I mention I was head of my debate team? I'm sure you did. Thank you. <sighs> this is Vault Tech interview number... 87. For the position of Overseer for Vault 114. The candidate has refused to give his real name and has only provided the name... Soupkin Harry? That's right. I ain't telling you nothing. My name is the name I call myself. 
Not the rank and number of the government branch on me. No, sir. Fascinating. Mr. Um, Soupcan, would you mind telling me why you're distrustful of the government? I've seen what they do. Gum up the works with red tape and bureaucracy. Take every hard-earned cent and use it to fund their Illuminati, Freemason sex parties. <laughs> I'm a free man. I should be able to live as I see fit. My taxes pay for them streets and alleys and dumpsters. I'll sleep where I want. Sir, according to this, you haven't paid taxes in many years. I seen the back of them Abraxo boxes. Not for consumption? Don't you tell me what to do. I'll eat what I want. Sir, you may just be the perfect candidate. How would you like to be the new overseer for Vault 114? I ain't wearing no goddamn tie. Or pants. Soup can Harry. Sounds like a crazy loner who lives under a bridge and only eats rad roaches. vault -Tec was evil, but their ideas were genius. Really? Well, I'm glad you think so. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.